Hey everyone, how you doing today? I thought I'd take another look at the workshop and see what was out there and a whole bunch of uh, very, very cool creations. Uh, so, the very first one I got here today is the monolith for Reforged Eden by Entei. In fact, all the uh, creations to, in today's video are for Reforged Eden. Um, so this is the, the first one, and this one is a really unusual design. Now, one thing I just want to kind of apologize for is I'm trying new planets every time. And I thought this planet looked really, really cool. Um, however, in practical reality, when I'm trying to show stuff, it's, uh, the lighting's kind of washed out. So I'm, it's not bad, horrible, or anything like that, but the lighting is kind of uh, makes it a little bit harder to see in the daytime. And I tried to... Um, do this weather clear command many times and it doesn't really help at all and that uh, if you have a foggy environment you could put in that command I just did there in the console which is the tilde key and that would um, and that would uh, clear the fog away um, however this is as good as it gets and I'm right at the equator too so we're pretty close to the equator I think the sun's right above me here so apologize for that I just I wanted to see a lot of the uh, different planets you know rather than going in those uh like vanilla or creative mode uh, planets. I wanted to see some more exotic things. And I think this is a pretty cool looking place. Um, just the lighting's a little little difficult to see. But anyway, as in this ship, this thing is pretty wild. Uh, it's a very wide ship, um, but it's not very long, um, which is really cool, kind of like a flying wing design. I haven't seen many, if I'm trying to even go back and think of any ships that I've seen actually in this kind of uh, layout and design. Um, it's kind of original. I, 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 there's probably something else out there like it, I'm sure. There's a lot of things on the uh, on the workshop, but uh, I haven't really seen anything quite like this before. This is just pretty unique, and I love it. I love the idea of a really wide ship like this. So I also turned on, I uh, hopped in here, and I turned on one option in the P menu this upgrade marker. I, I kind of looked at that first and I was like, yeah, I want that on as I'm touring the ship. Um, basically, they're LCDs that turn on to uh, tell you where to put certain upgrade parts, um, which is a really cool way of doing it. Um, if you got the room for the LCDs, that, that is wonderful. Um, also, looking around the ship here, too, it looks like there's a lot of room for uh, more turrets. I got to assume that all these are turret positions over here and over here and um, all across the bottom over here. So it looks like you could just put on a huge amount of turrets. And that is one advantage to a really wide design like this is you would have a lot of front front space to have front firing uh, turrets going across a large area, which would... Uh, I would think would be pretty effective in game. Um, and you can see the bridge kind of here in the middle. That's already, yeah, that's already looking cool. This is a very, very cool looking ship. Very unique too. Love it. And the, uh, the detail is uh, all over the place again. Kind of a darker shaded, uh, I won't say black, but a very uh, dark gray style color ship. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've got some uh, upgrade parts over here. So this is... Uh, Large Suster, remove LCD, remove block below. Ah, that's cool. So I like how that uh, works out there. So you gotta you gotta put in a lot of extra LCDs for that, but that is nice. You can put a lot more information than a single um, or a couple uh, letters uh, representing something. All right, here I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna lower the uh, time of day down here. Let's get it not quite a full night, but we'll get close. Yeah, it looks pretty wild. Yeah. Very sci-fi. Very uh very cool. Alright, well anyway, let's get on this uh let's get on this puppy here. <laughs> See what is going on. So instantly, oh yeah, very very uh nice looking interior again. Tell that right away. I like the uh the lighting and a lot of use of textures and a lot of, a lot of a lot of crazy stuff going on here. So as soon as you walk in Looks like you've got an armor locker and some O2. And then it, uh, oh, there's this big center room over here, which is uh, uh, a place for a, uh, looks like a fusion reactor, I would say. Yeah, fusion core. Fusion core right over here. Remove the LCD. So we got an engineering section right in the center here. Look at all the uh, crazy block work going on here. I love that. Looks like we got another room above here, too, and there's a kind of a glass floor. 
This also is holding our shield and our warp drive and the main CPU core. And of course a fusion core here too. That is cool. Gravity generator. So a bunch of stuff right in the center here. And then I'm noticing there's uh, there's some access ele or not elevators, ladders uh, here and there too. Oh, this actually is jumping up to another another floor here. So we got a medical station over here, our medical bay. Looks like it's got all its parts. Very nice. Uh, oh, okay, there's our uh, main elevator there. Well, since I went this way, let's just keep on walking this way a little bit. So it looks like uh, yeah, a whole bunch of CPU blocks in this area. And then uh, some small shield parts, and holy smokes. Look at this big room over here. Got some generators. Look like a spot for another generator there. And a couple, uh, oh, a couple big shield parts over on this side. So I got to assume that's probably... Uh, the same on the other side. I'll, uh, I'll have to take a walk over there to see if it's the, uh, the same, but that would kind of make sense. And then you get these, uh, that would be like four big shield parts. Uh, you got medium shield parts up here. Uh, yep. Wow. So you can get a lot of shielding in here, and obviously from the front you can get a lot of turrets in here. You can upgrade generators. You can put a fusion reactor in. Looks like there's a lot of stuff. And it looks like we're in a, like a thruster access area. Oh, that actually goes right out of the ship on the side here. Interesting. So this is, yeah, this is just open air to the, uh, the outside of the ship. Interesting layout here. I like the use of uh, ladders. Um, i got to remember to try to incorporate those a little bit more. So this is really cool. So I came, where did I come in at? Is there a door over here now? Yes? Yes. Oh, there's a blast door here. What? Oh, I found a sneaky area. What is this? I don't even know. And now we're, yeah, we, we made it to the elevator, which is cool. It's going to save me because other than that, I was going to get lost. Okay, so we started, we started here. That's where we first walked in. And we kind of went here. We looked at this medical bay and we, uh, then we, yeah, we cruised down that room. Let's go the other way second and see okay it looks pretty much like it's the same on uh, either side I just wanted to see that sometimes there's um, some asymmetrical stuff and this kind of might be I'll have to see what T's mean I didn't I'm not seeing a pop-up uh, uh, LCD on this one probably maybe it maybe it didn't fit there very good and this is that big room there again all right so and then this probably is more thruster access and a way out of the ship. Okay, so yeah, we're pretty much the same on both sides there. Um, how did I get up here? Not sure. We're on this. Oh, I took that. Uh, I took that ladder right there. Okay. Dear. All right, so let's get to the elevator, and that would be uh, deck two that we're on. I like uh, I like how the arrows are highlighted here on the uh, info LCD inside the elevator. Yeah, see inside the elevator. That's very cool. Oh, I'm looking up. What, what what's going on here? Well, that's a cool looking LCD on the top of the elevator. Or is there a room above that? Kind of like a fake ceiling. This thing's got some trippy stuff going on, for sure. Okay, so we're on three. I got us. No, we're on four now. Here is three, All right? Yes, okay, so this is uh, basically auxiliary CPU room. Okay, so I'm hearing things open. It's freaking me out. I have a feeling there's someone else walking around this ship. Just don't know it. All right, anyway, auxiliary uh, and auxiliary generators, CPU, upgrade shelter. And then we go to four. Is this four right here? This is four right here, okay. So yeah, the, the elevator's pretty small considering there's four decks coming off from it. Uh, so we're now around four. And we're into a hangar here. Nice looking hangar. Oh, it looks like the bridge is right in front there too. And this is right above that uh, engineering room with the, uh, with the big fusion reactor upgrade slot. And looks like we got a deconstructor location over here. We've got some production. 
and that kind of overlooks over uh, this other room that we kind of uh, walked through already. And I did want to see if it's, uh, it's probably the same going on on the other side over here, too. Well, yeah, so we've got that area for uh, two more big shield parts. So you can get a lot of shield parts in here. It's like a, a bunch of us. Uh, there are some smalls that we already seen installed, a couple mediums that were installed. Um, you got room for a fusion. You got room for four, at least four larges, uh, more mediums, quite a lot. Okay, and that's the elevator we came up on, and this is our uh, this is our hangar door. That's cool. So that's uh, coming out the back of the ship, kind of uh, raised up over here for uh, obviously for SVs, but a really nice looking um, hangar. Looks like it's uh, set up well to fit uh, your average size uh, SV type creation. And then you got production off to the sides, and you got uh, your upgrade rooms beyond that. Oh, and then there's a crew quarter area. Hold on. Oh, check this out. A little, some bunk beds over here. And we got to have our bathroom. Nice. Almost didn't even see that. So that's just kind of. Uh, kind of in there and say yeah it's not um, from what I can tell it's not super big on the inside everything's pretty tight and close together didn't see any uh, grill plots but this certainly looks like a, uh, a warship and uh, I'm having grill plots and stuff on it probably won't make a lot of sense for this kind of design um, obviously it's really meant to put on a lot of turrets and a lot of shield parts things like that fusion reactor other things and we're up to the bridge here. And, oh, a space exit. Oh, check that out. Quick escape over here. That's very convenient. Plus uh, some utility function here. We'll to an armor locker off to that side. And uh, it looks like we got the same option on the other side. And a couple uh, passenger seats and our pilot seat here. In this uh, big front glass canopy area. Very nice looking again. It's just, I mean, uh, everywhere you look, there's just detail just everywhere. Love the uh, love the LCDs here for the uh, passenger seats as well. That is really cool. And uh, the LCD is up over here. NPC. Crew member, got to have that. Oh, this looks really cool. And look at that visibility you got from uh, off the front here, too. It's, uh, it's just neat. And then you see those uh, the big artillery launchers right above you even stock and then we've got a whole bunch of information here on upgrade possibilities yep all kinds of different stuff up to 40 additional turrets I'm just looking at some highlights here additional upward uh, advanced thrusters large thrusters there Wow plus 10. yeah it looks like you can add a ton of thrusters on this as well uh, deconstructor obviously is D Maybe that's what those T's were. Maybe uh, the bottom part of a thruster. Um, does it say that here? P menu, up, uh, menu markers. I did turn that on to start with. 12 fixed cannon weapons. Yeah, this thing is a, a warship galore. Can't imagine how much, uh, what you'd get the shield to of uh, putting in all the, uh, all the big shield parts and everything else and all the thrusters and what what not. Yeah, this is really, uh, I bet you this does pretty nicely. Um, I'm curious on how this uh, performs in combat, too. It's, uh, it's a different design, different shape. Um, just, uh, you know, most, most of the time we have kind of these longer things and, like, have, uh, like, a armored front area and then keep all the weapons kind of in the back. And this one's just, like, right in your face. It just comes rolling up, and all the guns are blazing. And, and yeah, it looks like you can get a lot of guns on here, too. I don't know. Very nice-looking ship. Now, let me turn the, turn the lights back on. Let's take a look at some stats here and stuff. So, to start with, we are... Uh, unlock level 25 expected. Uh, size class 5, barely. But, uh, no, no, I've done the same thing. It's size class 5. It doesn't really make a difference if it goes to 6 anyway. It's, uh, but at 5.5, technically 1 or 0, it would be uh, size class 6. 15-hour uh, and 34-minute build time. 
Looks like it's uh, obviously this kind of ship with bunch of guns and everything on it is going to need some estrium and zacosium. It's pretty much standard. So on our numbers here, at least stock numbers, obviously there's a whole lot of places to add in more thrusters, which are going to change these numbers considerably. Um, but at least stock, it uh, it's not bad at all. So you got 55 forward, 49 strafing, 27 down, 27 lift, 32 in reverse. 25 on roll, 29 y'all, and 13 on pitch. So I was kind of wondering if these stats are going to be a little bit lower due to its width, um, especially on the roll. But it's really, not really, I mean, I'm kind of looking at the y'alls really not much more. I expected the, the, the roll to be pretty small and the y'all to be pretty high um, on this uh, shaped ship, but it's really coming out pretty even. So I, I think I'm wrong on my assumption on that. Um, CPU-wise, oh yeah, look at that. We're right at 2.1 more. Wow, well, just just under 2.1 million. So totally cool, uh, spawning it in as is, and it looks like it's capable as is too. It does have the shield, the warp drive, uh, some extra shield parts beyond that. Speaking of that. So, uh, stock, at least. Obviously, huge amounts of shield upgrades you can go beyond this. But stock, right up, just under 25,000 on shield stock. Um, and then you've got some uh, other options for your hangar, ramps, and minigun turrets. Interesting. Uh, all right. Uh, let's take a look at the storage here. So, we got an ammo controller, two ammo controllers at 320. Makes good sense. Uh, and then it looks like we've got a uh, cargo controller, two 640 cargo controllers. Then beyond that, it's just uh, a couple boxes in the fridge and your normal stuff. It looks like it has a repair uh, station on here stock as well. Is that in the hangar? Oh, wait, repair station. I'm sorry. I was thinking uh, I, I, that's armor repair. Okay, I was thinking of a uh, vehicle or um, repair, but uh, no, it doesn't have that. I didn't think it would... It's kind of, uh, it's not really look like the, the type of creation that you would be uh, fixing a lot of HVs and SVs, especially uh, especially HVs. Uh, it would be a little hard to get in there unless you're in space, and that's kind of slow. But yeah, very cool. Look at that. Look at that shape. That is just, that is wild seeing something like this come at you. And then again, it was, uh, there's a lot of talk about huge amounts of thrusters, and you can kind of see some placeholders in here too. Like I think this part here... Looks like, yeah, that's what these T's are, the uh, the thrusters, they're kind of the back wall of where these thrusters get uh, placed in there. And you can add in, like, uh, some smaller ones and some, some bigger ones, um, and quite a lot, and it looked like a lot of different directions as well. Um, over here, large thruster, remove LCD. Okay, so large thrusters are the 1x2s. Uh, no, no, actually, large thrusters should be the 2x2x4s. I do believe. So medium thrusters, I gotta assume. Is that medium? I don't see how you'd fit a large thruster in there unless I'm looking at this wrong. You can see it here. Yeah, large thruster remove L C D. But I'd say this that one is a medium. Unless I'm looking at this wrong. Now, anyway, that's cool. So yeah, a bunch more thrusters, bunch more weapons, bunch more shields. So I mean, and then you got places for your quantum cores and auxiliary cores and all that fun stuff too. So again, uh, really really cool ship. The monolith here by uh, Ente, and uh, very very nice, uh, exotic looking. It looks quite capable um, in game, uh, especially after you upgrade it some. But even even stock, it looks like you could uh, you could do some damage. All right, so the next creation here is the uh, Bicentennial Sparrow by Dadrick. And this, uh, I was a little worried about, um, there's another ship I really wanted to look at too, and, and I don't know if I screwed this up or not. I was trying to avoid uh, stuff for Excalibur's Challenge. Um, and there was another one by a particular Bone Dog that I wanted to look at really badly, but uh, I uh, that's going to be in the challenge, so I'm skipping that, and I'm... Now I'm kind of wondering, I'm looking at the name on this, and I'm wondering if this is potentially for the challenge or not. And I, I hope it's not, but I might have screwed that up. Um, again, trying to avoid the uh, the Star Wars creations on this, this one. 
But uh, this is a uh, yeah, little guy. Um, this is for Reforged Eden again. And it kind of almost looks like a bit of a, a starter CV or something along those lines. Love these thruster housings. Kind of uh, kind of made to uh, using the uh, more worn looking metal look. So uh, kind of more of a used a used ship. Like how these uh, extension arms come out here to hold the uh, the thrusters. And it's got a warp drive in here too. I like that. Uh, that's displayed nicely. It's just just using the uh, that looks like the medium thrusters on here, and a cool looking uh, bridge, almost almost kind of like a big SV. But uh, wait a minute, I better be. Uh, I'm looking at this right, right? R E, hold on. I just want to make sure that you're what I think you are. Yeah, you are a capital vessel. Well, yeah, yeah, of course you're a capital vessel. <laughs> I've. Uh, Sometimes, you know, if you if you don't have, uh, if you're looking at something and, you, and you're not adjusting to the scaling of it, sometimes um, you can have some SVs actually look like CVs, depending on how they're set up and stuff. And if you don't have anything nearby it uh, to uh, show its size. that This is really cool. This is really cool. I like how it's landing, too. I was kind of curious. It looked like I, I was almost expecting a landing gear right in that block. But that's just a half block there. And then you got two... Uh, Two landing gear on the back here. I like how that kind of. I like how that stances. It kind of balances on those two. And you got a detector in back and Wi-Fi as well. So this is yeah, pretty much straight to the point. Um, almost like a, it's a CV, but kind of a, a little bit like an SV in a, in a lot of ways. And obviously a boarding ramp over here. So let's uh, let me uh, adjust the lighting here a minute. Oh yeah, right to the point. Look at that. We got a, a storage controller, fridge, bed, armor locker, O2. Um, let's just go to. Aha. We've got uh, what is that? <laughs> a constructor. Just looking. Just I think that's a constructor. Just looking at a, at a different size and angle there. It looks like we got some other stuff in this room here too. So we've got our main CPU core or our main core right there. And then, uh, yeah, we got our, our health in 02. And passenger seat. I like that. I like that, using that seat there. Oh, check out the uh, the gun cabinet kind of thing over here with the LCDs. That's cool. That is cool. That is uh, really unique. And then, yeah, you just fly it. That is. Uh, that looks like the extent of it. So, yeah, it's not really, uh, looks like, you know, just uh, probably fairly inexpensive transportation with uh, your basic utility. And, um, you know, you got room for a uh, passenger or two. Well, at least a, at least a passenger. And, uh, yeah, we're pretty much to the point. Let's just, uh, we got 320 uh, storage there. Let's take a look at some specs on this. So, size class 1 almost 0.5 if that was a thing uh our numbers look really good here so we're 64 21 strafing 73 lift 43 reverse uh 60 roll 84 yaw 61 pitch two hours and 55 minute build time doesn't require anything really rare at all just uh your stuff you can assume on just about any cv and that's going to be a neo dinium titanium and some cobalt a little bit of satium in there but very very little and uh yeah iron and carbon and copper and silicon it's yeah so very very inexpensive quick to build uh a ship that does have warp drive um uh god i don't think it, oh it does have a shield in here too doesn't it 2450 on shield i didn't see that walking in there it's probably uh uh embedded in there somewhere and it's really light on cpu i mean this is a tier one and it's it's like you've got good almost 140,000 extra CPU at tier one so I can just uh, a quick uh, CV especially that you could spawn in warp around um, you got you got a shield you got a warp drive uh, a couple turrets on the side um, let's take a look was there anything more on turrets nope and then a detector 
And uh, yeah, that's about it. It's just a straightforward uh, design there for getting around. Probably uh, some semi early game and whatnot. That is really cool. Very nice looking ship. So again, that is the uh, Bicentennial Sparrow RE by uh, Dadrick. So the next creation here is not that one yet. <laughs> uh, is this uh, orbital station by uh, uh, Procon Loter? And this is uh, this is a cool one too. Another uh, space station here. I know it's I don't have it in space right now. I apologize for that, but uh, this is meant to be in space. Obviously, it would collapse if I try to spawn it like this. That's uh, the nature of most space stations. They don't like to be on the planet's surface. But this, uh, yeah, looks like a, uh, I don't know, I'm just taking a guess that it's kind of a bit of a starter station maybe, but I don't know exactly, but it kind of looks that way. It doesn't look like it would cost a, a huge amount. We've got a nice solar array going on here. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, at least 12 of the uh, large solar panels. Um, and they're displayed nicely, so you can uh, spawn this in space, point this right at the, right at a star, and uh, that would uh, that would do the job. So you'd get some uh, decent amount of power. I like this uh, this landing pad over here too. And it looks like it has a couple uh, locations out here for. I gotta assume these are turret mount positions where you can put a turret on the top and the bottom side of those. Uh, looks like it would fit fit that well at least. And a little bit of uh, you know, kind of some framework, but you know, below the landing pad. So it's just yeah, it's kind of all like uh, structured together here. That's that's cool. And then you got your solar, and it looks like your habitat area is just in that area there. A couple uh, solar capacitors down over here. So all right. So basically, let's land. And here, let me uh, do the lighty thing again. That here. So you hop right in, and then you're to the uh, at least the lower floor section. I think there was like two two areas above here. So we got a uh, it looks like an 18 row plot farm over here. Uh, health station. Looks like we got uh, other medical equipment over on the, this one side over here. A couple of the parts. O2 kind of mounted up in the ceiling. Nice looking uh, interior again. Kind of a place to chill over here in a fridge and food processor on that. And uh, then we got a constructor and our uh, a storage controller, armor locker. Yeah, a lot of a lot of stuff just kind of chilling out on this uh, this this bottom floor here. Let's go up to the next uh, next room here. Oh wow. We got our main core right above at the top of the elevator, and it looks like we're getting into some engineering on the top here. Location for a teleporter, I like how that's labeled too. Um, furnace uh, location, two furnace locations. Yeah, yeah, it looks like yeah, they're carved out, so you got the three by three by three area there for the uh, the furnaces. And it looks like we got a couple uh, small generators up in here. It's a base, you probably won't need a lot. And then, of course, your gravity generator. Uh, looks like a place for another uh, part. Could be offline protection would fit there, or... I'm not sure what else would go there, but... Uh, where, you know, you could, I guess, technically put in some... No, I don't think you'd be putting in shield parts. That's nah, a base. Um, yeah, mo for the most part, people would uh, usually spawn one of these in non-hostile space or areas that uh, have been cleared of the bad guys already at least I would I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to spawn in a, a new station um, in a hostile zone it would really suck if things went south <laughs> very cool very cool so yeah to the point uh, do some uh, production I uh, got a, a small farm places for a couple furnaces landing pad uh, general utility um, Across the board for everything. Uh, some places to mount some turrets. Let me turn the lights back on. And uh, I just want to see. I bet you this is a deco one. Yeah, radar dish. Yeah. So there's a long range radar for Reforge Eden, but uh, there's still the deco part. 
Um, the deco part would, would obviously it would be a place where you could put the real radar if you needed it. Again, it's a base, so I don't. It's not moving around, so I don't really. I don't think uh, actual like uh, working radar would really do you much good um, in this circumstance here. Let's take a look at some stats here. So, quick build time, hour and 47 minutes. Um, yeah, really, it's not using any Estrium or Zacosium. Smidgen of uh, Cobalt and Neo. Yeah, that's about it, really. Uh, got some uh, some concrete on here. I can tell by the uh, stone dust and crust stone in the mix. Uh, size class 2. And unlock level 10. So, yeah, definitely uh, not breaking the bank on this one. CPU, jeez. Uh... Yeah, it's hardly it's not it's not using much at all. It's a tier one, and it's you got fifty thousand CPU left over even at that, going to a max of eighty thousand. So you've got a lot. You can put a lot more stuff in here, um, but yeah, it's just meant to be a, a quick like a, like a starter space station. Oh, I didn't have fuel in here either. Oh, it's getting solar. Um, that's cool. That is cool. So very light CPU. I didn't expect that. I thought it was going to have more usage than that. And let's take a look at its storage here. So we got a, oh wow, didn't expect that. We got a, at least 100, 640K. And it looks like that might be about it beyond some boxes. Uh, well, yeah, that's a ammo box there too. And okay, rester boxes. So you got a single 640, which is pretty good actually. I mean, considering the cost of this and how low of CPU usage it is, and a generally nice looking design with a, solar powered and a nice uh, landing pad there I like the uh, the cargo box kind of chilling out there too that's that's convenient yeah, really cool station so again orbital station by uh, Procon Loter very cool very cool design so next here we've got this uh, SSW pickaxe and this is by Stan 2000 or 2112 and really Cool looking uh, ship. I'm trying to assess it. It kind of looks a bit to me like it would be combat oriented, at least uh, like earlier game combat oriented, uh, or maybe later game too. It's hard to say. It's got a lot of turrets on here. Now I got the thrusters off. I had a little bit of problem docking this one, um, and I noticed it came stock with the thrusters off too. But when I was trying to um, land it earlier, I didn't see any landing gear pop down. So that's why I'm kind of a little crooked. Maybe it's just me. Let me try that again real quick. Um, and I start a little little preview here. I just want to see if I screwed something up. So let's level you up and lower you back down. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have landing gear on it. Um, so therefore, I kept the uh, the uh, lift thrusters on the whole time. Oh, it does have landing gear, and it is landed. My bad. Oh, I like how that's done. So it's kind of like sitting on the on the bottom there. Oh, that's how it's done. Okay. Oh, and it has this on the front. So I just unsuccessfully landed it last time. I must have got it right this time. And keep in mind, yeah, and the thrusters aren't, like, blazing, too. So I screwed something up the first time I tried to land this one. Glad I tried again. That yeah, was easy. I was just being an idiot there. Anyway, cool-looking design. Uh, I'm looking at these front areas. Kind of wondering, uh, I guess that's just decoration. I don't think that's necessarily meant for adding in some reverse thrusters. But it looks like some of those are over here behind these pieces. Or the, the deco parts there. That's cool. Yeah, I like how you're doing that. Yeah, that's that's neat. I like how it uh, sits now. That it kind of like sits on the back here. That would be uh, really firmly planted on the ground too. And then that holds the front up. Uh, front end up uh, correctly. There must be some kind of circuit or something to control that when the landing gear go down. And pretty good thrusters on here too. I like the, uh, the kind of the framework around these thruster uh, module pieces here, thruster assemblies. And this is kind of like another assembly off the side over on on this area too. I like to see that kind of thing done I really do rather than 
like w w with me with start oh was starting out building too i was building like a ship you know kind of i i consider it a blob ship now um like when everything is just like you got this big hall and everything's like slammed into this this hall and it's kind of sort of some variant of a rectangle and uh, everything's kind of like enclosed into one space um so i kind of look at that and i kind of kind of consider that more of a blob blob ship and now when when you see all these uh more elaborate ships where they have like these individual pieces and sections and and like separated parts and things like that um that's kind of how you uh how you uh eliminate the uh the blob thing it's easy to uh, end up with a kind of a blobby ship and I, I i've got some i've got some but that i made in the past they're usually pretty practical but um it, do, it certainly looks nicer when you have like these individual separated parts and stuff on the design it looks certainly looks more sci-fi and more plausible than just a ship that's everything's like this one frame yeah i don't know it, it completely depends on the ship though i mean certain ships look good that way too but uh yeah i definitely like this definitely like this cool looking uh cool looking creation interesting landing uh set up on it and i like it a lot actually now that i understand it and at first tries i must have been a little off centered or something when i was uh landing and it seemed to like like i probably didn't engage the rear landing gear properly so that didn't open up so then i was just kind of like sitting on the ground there thinking that it didn't have landing gear but no i'm i'm wrong way up top here oh look at that we've got our, our warp drive here i'll turn all the hot hot off i like how that's displayed here looks like there's a solar panel right here too nice looking uh colors and textures and the shaping um and again quite a lot of weapons on here too so i'm assuming this is a uh, uh kind of set up for at least at least some combat i won't say it's necessarily like um super killer ship but uh it's got some pretty good uh weapons on it all right so let's find a way in a board here it's kind of walking ah oh, that's right yeah these did open up earlier okay so let me do the light thing here i like that i like uh i like the i kind of like a lot of uh designs that use a uh, side um boarding and stuff like that i uh I tend to mostly have hangers and like boarding off the back of the ship, but I really do like it when it's done differently like this. Um, that's cool. It feels, it just feels different. It feels fresher, I think. So as soon as you get in, it's too business. So instantly there's our uh, warp drive that we could kind of see from the, uh, the top of the ship there. looks like we've got some uh, small shield parts in this area walking on some cpu blocks uh, yeah, tight space in here kind of like that kind of uh kind of feels realistic there uh, obviously we've got our shield right below there too so sh uh, small shield parts warp drive and a couple of small sh uh, and the and the main shield big old generator over here on this one side and uh couple small constructors i was just checking out the symbol on the floor trying to wonder if that if uh figured this would be hot right here but i didn't know if this i don't think this would be hot right there looks like a wi-fi uh cargo room over here nicely done and that didn't look like it went anywhere so let's uh let's walk back around here and come through here wow there's a lot of stuff in here it's a it's a pretty small ship and it's got a lot of big parts in it so that's probably the thing i, I uh so you got this big engineering area. It looks like the main CPU core is up over there. Obviously, gravity generator. Um, this is going over to uh, like another utility room here with Wi-Fi over there as well. And then uh, up the elevator to the top floor. I'm guessing here. So we got storage controller there. Oh no, there's the main CPU core. Whatever I was looking at down there is not the main CPU core. It's up here. 
Another storage controller here. Oh, look at this area. Oh, well, this is kind of roomy up here. So this is the uh, the production zone. I like that. What is this piece here? Is that the new deconstructor? Hold on. I heard. Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. That's a big upgrade now, ain't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Uh, I'm sure you've probably all seen it already. Um, I just I haven't looked at it actually since uh, it came to the game. And, uh, yeah, huge, huge upgraded. The, the, the deconstructor was pretty kind of hideous it, uh, in the past. It just looked like some wonky, symmetrical somebody playing around in some 3D program um, kind of thing. And this uh, this looks... Uh, uh, pretty pretty darn professional here. Uh, really complicated uh, design and everything. It's uh, that is cool. That is cool. That is a huge huge upgrade over the previous deconstructor. Nice. So yeah, I like this uh, this area up here. So it's just yeah, you got uh, got your business right here. So that is cool. And then it goes up another floor. I thought there was only going to be. Uh, Oh, and there kind of is, and this goes out to the back, where you've got kind of that embedded uh, warp drive with uh, the armored glass here on the uh, the landing pad, and oh yeah, right up to the bridge here. Armored glass on the front there, and your production area. Yeah, it's nice and convenient and close too. When you want to fly around and get some things done, you could uh, just uh, walk backwards and. I'll probably just leap off the edge and start start uh, constructing. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Yeah, cool, cool looking ship here. So uh, let's see, let's uh, turn the lights back on here a minute and take a look at some specs. So, unlock level 25, size class 3, 87 forward, 44 strafing, 44 down, 44 lift, and 44 reverse. So, very, very balanced um, thrust, double forward, and everything else is uh, uh, pretty pretty standard there. 8, uh, eight hour and 58 minute build time. Automated ice harvester drills. Oh, okay. So, oh, we're about mining here. Positron beam turrets. Eight automated ice harvesting drills four okay so this is a minor well you know that would kind of make sense the uh the name pickaxe i would assume would have something to do with mining so this is kind of like a specialized miner it's got some weaponry on it to uh, protect it long range radar that's probably what your advanced upgrade kit is for and uh used a little bit of estrium and zycosium and things like that but uh, this you kind of have this kind of creation to make you money in the game, or the uh, this is pretty interesting here. And you also have a retractable drill turret and four flak turrets, long range radar, which is which is very nice to have too. Uh, CPU wise, yeah, it's uh, it's not a core nine, only uh, 1.6 million CPU, so. I don't know the numbers quite well enough to know exactly what cores are in here. Uh, maybe it tells me here. Does it? Will it say how many advanced cores are in here or anything like that? I'm guessing it would have a basic, two improved, maybe three advanced cores out of the five, something like that. But it basically, it doesn't. Doesn't uh, it keeps the the, uh, the cost down here? Some. So uh, so about a nine hour build time on it. Quite a lot of P menu options here again too. I really should look at the last ship too. So I'm not sure what Sentinels. Maybe a defense against Sentinels. I don't know. I don't know what that is. A positrons. Sentinel. Yeah. Eco mode. That's cool. Landing deck. Drill turrets. Let's just turn everything on. Yeah, nice. Hold on, let me uh just have any options. Ramp open, okay. I gotta re I gotta remember to look at the uh, the P menu on all these creations too. I've been using it myself to put in uh, options features to turn off things and stuff too, and I uh 
I tend to forget that sometimes when looking at these. I'm trying to go through like a bit of a checklist of uh, things I want to try to look at on each creation. And I uh, wasn't really thinking about that one a whole lot. Anyway, very, very cool design. Again, this is the SSW Pickaxe uh, Reforged Eden Combat Miner by Stan2112. So next creation here, this is by an author I'm, uh, I believe I was unfamiliar with. Uh, this is by, this is the Stark Kath, Stark K-A-D-H 890 Jump by, uh, same name, um, author, uh, Star uh, Kath. Yeah, I'm probably saying that wrong, I apologize for that. So this is obviously based on, uh, what I can tell, the 890 Jump from Star Citizen, um, I haven't actually, I, I know I've seen the concept pictures of that, but I haven't really been following Star Citizen a whole lot lately. Um, I'm sure the ship is done and complete and operational in the game now. This is kind of a replica of that, um, done in voxel blocks. Which is, uh, that is really cool. We've got this interesting hangar door set up over here. And using these, uh, the block angles in front of there and the double hangar, hangar door, and then it also looks like it has a force field between the two doors interesting interesting setup there and yeah the overall shape from what i re uh, remember and i think i'm talking probably mostly concept or maybe I, I i might have seen like the uh the early model work of it too um it looks like it's uh yeah definitely following that design it had that uh kind of almost like a yacht kind of front end on it um but it also looked like a spaceship that is that that is uh that is cool interesting uh texture lighting going on here too I like the uh the texture lights kind of in the sides here in this uh interesting uh oh framework I would say uh kind of going along there this kind of looks like a pretty cool like vending structure or something like that. And we do have some uh, some turrets on here as well. Cool looking thruster housings. That's really unique. Don't see that every day. I like uh, I love this uh, idea of the uh, it's like a separated top and bottom, and they follow the same angle, um, but they're both shaped a little differently. But it's it's uh, that's that's a cool looking uh, design there. Definitely like that. I'm sure. I'm sure this. Uh, a lot of this probably comes from the uh, the actual uh, ship in uh, Star Citizen. But uh, yeah, that's a neat idea. That's uh, it, just honestly something I never thought about for thruster housings before. That is a really cool look. I like this top area too. This uh, this angling uh, section here. You can tell the author was really trying to uh, do a replica and trying to um, use voxel blocks in uh, some different ways uh, to try to accomplish angles that the game just cannot handle <laughs> um, with the blocks that are there and uh, but it is definitely pretty interesting the way that way that is uh, the way that is done there trying to follow the, uh, the original design uh, definitely I, I do kind of dig this hangar door set up I kind of wish there was a uh, a different kind of hangar door that would fit a little bit better there where they could have closed up to the center but i understand why the author did what they did because this you got to have a center point and uh yeah the only way you know the only way this setup would work right is if you had uh, uh what i would call a two block wide center on a ship i think um this would be that unique case now i typically always have a one block wide what i mean is it has a single center center block row that's where I almost always build at um, but I've seen authors uh, also have like uh, you can set up symmetry a little bit differently so you have like basically a, a right and left center block going through here and up it and then you have an even width number and then I believe this would line up uh, the two hangar doors would work together fine without the, the uh, force field in there but you'd have to uh, kind of start that at the beginning of the creation of the ship really really cool like all the uh the accents and everything else going on in here neat looking glass uh set up on the top there too that's uh that's pretty freaky looking it's cool though it's very unique on the, uh, the shaping of the uh the armored glass and how that's uh set up there
Don't see that every day. All right. Well, anyway, let me do the lighty thing. I haven't actually figured out how to get on here yet. Um, again, I'm not familiar with the actual ship much in the game besides seeing some pictures of it. So I wouldn't know exactly um, where its boarding ramp and things would be. This does seem like pretty big, though. I mean, it's a pretty big ship. Um, I thought the one in the game was smaller, but I could be mistaken on that. So, ah, there we are. That certainly looks like a big ramp to me. Are you going to open? Oh, well, I will open you. Like we get in here, we got a uh, kind of a, a big, clean, open uh, hangar area. Like the uh, the framework kind of going along the sides. Got a uh, nice uh, kind of armored glass window across the front there. Looks like we got a, uh, a generator and oh, I thought that was a door there. I am mistaken. And it looks like you just go up one way from the hangar. I like that, though. I like the uh, the clean look, the big angled uh, ceiling, um, and this little bit of uh, trim work here. And also, uh, yeah, I'm looking at the uh, the big row of lights going right across the top there. That's uh, that's pretty cool to see, too. I like that. Up to a hallway. Got the uh, red doors on either side here. I'm going to go up more. How about this way? Oh. That goes somewhere. Well, let's just see what's happening on this side. Okay, same idea. All right, I know. Not really. So that is different than this side. Okay, just wanted to see that. What's behind this door here? So it looks like we've got a uh, kind of a pilot seat in the back here, kind of like a secure bridge area, it looks like. And yeah, actually uh, three pilot seats, I would say. Nice. Nice. And let's go this way. Okay, now we got an elevator going somewhere. So it looks like a kitchen area here. And uh, I tell you what, I'm going to turn up the lighting a little bit here. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a luxury ship, isn't it? So, I'm yeah, kind of uh, a war, well, yeah, a place to move, uh, like, VIPs and things like that. So, it looks like a kind of a nice uh, meeting room or uh, maybe every, everybody gets together and uh, plays chess over here or something. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> uh, oh, bedrooms over here. Nice. I like how these are kind of set up. They kind of got the uh, little alcove. This kind of does remind me of some of the rooms that you'd see in Star Citizen. A little bit that I've uh, messed with it. Um, I did kind of walk in there, kind of where you spawn in, at least where you spawn in at one point in time, probably about four years ago. Um, got a big shower uh, bathroom room area over here. Yeah, I like that. It's, it's clean. And then it's got the the wood green on top of that there. And wow, we got we got places all over the place. Looks like another uh, meeting. Or, well, actually, like yeah, a bunch of uh, computer terminals, like your internet room there. Communications, some armor lockers. Yeah, O2. That neat. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, yeah, that's the big hangar. So that was just the back hangar. Look at this area here. That's pretty cool. I like the, uh, again, the kind of the series of texture lights going across this, the top there. A little bit of framework, uh, block work going there, and there's that big hangar door on the top. Yeah, that's cool. I like the orange trim around the, uh, the landing pad here, too. Fancy. And three doors. Oh, man. So, hold on. Let's try the center one here. What we got here? Looks like we got our, uh, I don't know, red room in order to fly it uh, in reverse. I'm looking at this. Yeah, that's the front of the ship there. So, 
Looks like we got another pilot seat here, but it's kind of angled the other direction. Interesting. What do we got here? Kind of a nice uh, hallway, kind of a place to sit and chill over here. Nice. That's a cool shaped uh, hallway. That's that's uh, it's pretty unique. Don't see a uh, hallway shaped like that too often. That that's cool. I like that. In in conjunction with the uh, the texture lights there, looks like we've got. Uh, I was gonna say crew rooms, but it does not look like a crew room. No, we got a medical bay over here. So looks like we've got. Uh, yeah, most of the medical equipment in here. Um, that's, unless I'm missing them. There's uh, two small parts and two of the bigger parts. So I'm not seeing one of the bigger parts for whatever reason. Yeah, I dig this hallway. That's that's cool. Pretty trippy, but uh, yeah, it's 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 neat. Oh yeah. So we got. Uh, I don't even know what this is. I don't know. Got kind of, kind of this uh, really interestingly shaped uh, kind of shaft that kind of, kind of kind of goes up here. I don't know if that's part of the uh, the ship in the uh, in the uh, in Star Citizen or not, but that is definitely interesting. Almost kind of like some kind of elevator or something. And more bathrooms. Oh wow. We walked into a, uh, certainly looks like a lounge kind of area here. That's cool. I like the, uh, yeah, the, the, the light up floors there. Hey, yeah, I haven't, I don't think I've seen that before or anything quite, uh, done up like that before. Interesting big old area here for the bartenders or whatever. I like the, uh, the windows on the side there. Yeah, that's cool. Um, oh, oh, it looks like we, uh, we got some areas here that aren't quite uh, done. Okay. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, this is a, this is a giant ship. Actually, this is a very large ship, but yeah, it looks like there's a lot of places here that are just not, um, like under construction or whatnot. And we got, oh, we got some thrusters in there too. Okay. Okay. I didn't mean to, uh. I didn't realize that, so we've got, uh, holy smokes. Yeah, I'm kind of flying through walls here. I'm, uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of finished areas of the ship, but then it looks like there's a lot of ship that's not finished off, too. And I'm ending up in all kinds of different rooms here. So I'm, I'm a little scared. I'm trying to find a, a point that I've been at before to know where I uh, deviated, but holy smokes, I'm just, uh, oh, there's a door over here. Wow, okay, guys. This thing is uh, crazy big, and look at these trippy hallways back here too. I, I dig these uh, these odd shaped hallways like this. That is just something you don't see every day. You know, we're so accustomed to always seeing like rectangle hallways and you know and stuff like that, and uh, seeing angles like this is really cool. Um, even in this room, I like I like the uh, the layout over here too. Again, a nice looking hallway. Well, I, 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 uh, somehow I got where I'm at. I don't exactly remember what I did to get here. Um, but let's look at these areas here. So this is below that big, uh, fancy window. Um, and this, I, I do, uh, kind of remember some things like this on this ship that it had some big open areas, obviously for VIPs and people, uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, important people going places that can afford uh, to uh, be on such a stylish uh, ship. Here, let's go up the uh, the staircase here. Yeah, interesting uh, curved steps there too. That is, that is pretty cool. I don't see those get used much. I don't think I've ever used them myself, or I might have once, but I, it's been a while. Um, Oh, okay, so we're up to the uh, the main bridge over here now. Cool, so we got a detector up here. Um, a few pilot seats. 
like the uh, the glass canopy uh, set up over here. That's a big uh, big window area in the kind of the overhang of the uh, over the, the top of that part of the uh, hull shape. And yeah, and this big uh, big open uh, area over here. Looks like we got a teleporter here. And we got this this area here too, which is just darker. So it's uh, oh okay. So this uh, that goes out to the, uh, the areas that are not not complete, and then we're back to the uh, our lounge area here. And what is out this way? Oh man, some more areas. Wow, look at the big big uh, like lounge cafeteria area over here. Didn't even notice this from before. Yeah, that, that well, you know, I haven't been in here so another area of the ship I like this uh, I like this kind of half block wall there that kind of separates your entry from the actual uh, area here and the uh, the texture lights are uh, helping a lot in the area too and it puts some lights in the middle there oh, that's really cool really cool definitely uh, star citizen inspired uh, uh, ship here uh, well replica more or less um, really really cool it's a big ship too it's got a lot of room inside it. a lot of room inside it i love the back end of it that's really cool the, the way the thruster housing and everything's done i think this is a really cool idea too with the hangar doors having the uh, shaped blocks kind of over the top of that yeah very cool and then you got the uh certainly uh obviously the, the game can't do the angles that this actual creation would want so you'll have to try to do what they could with the uh, the blocks to make that work out it does pretty pretty good. It does pretty good that way. Anyway, let's take a look at some specs here. So, um, it does look like it's going to need some extra CPU um, uh, right off the gates here. Uh, 32 hour and 9 minute build time. So, yeah, it's a pretty big size class too. 16 on size class. So, we got 34 forward, 4 strafing, 4 down. Uh, 32 lift uh, for reverse so not super fast but it's got the uh, it's got the lift and the, the forward thrust to get around all right um, four fuel tanks five generators uh, unlock level 25 and yeah obviously you're gonna need uh, have to go up past 2.1 million CPU and you probably need uh, what, uh, two or three quantum or auxiliary cores Something like that. I, I don't know the numbers perfectly on that. And let's take a look at your storage. So we've got a uh, container controller at 80k, ammo controller at 8k. Oh, and then we got an ammo box at 14k. Okay. Well, interesting. Anyway, yeah, really cool. That, I, I mean, that's a this is a hard ship to try to pull off in uh, Imperium. Um, at least from what I remember, the uh, the shape and whatnot of it is really hard to do with the voxel blocks available in Imperium. But uh, really, really uh, nice work overall. I mean, that's uh, that is cool, and I really dig the, uh, the all the uh, the back end of it and that thruster housing setup. I think that is uh, that is really cool, really cool. Again, it is the uh, StarCath 890 jump by StarCath. Very cool. So the last creation here is this little guy. And this was uh, just kind of was like browsing the workshop and seeing this little fighter and thought it looked really cool. And this is the uh, Dinge, uh, or D-J-I-N-N. -N. I'm thinking I'm pronouncing that right, too. I know that's uh, like a D-A-T kind of thing. Um, and this is by Swampy Feet. This is like a little little fighter. It looks like yeah, really cool. It kind of it reminds me of, um, I don't know, just your, your, your typical type of fighters. And I like the uh, I like the use of the, uh, the old school wing parts over here that kind of give it that uh, stealth bomber kind of kind of look. Um, on the sides there, but uh, I get, then it kind of looks like a fighter for the most part. Nice stance. Looks like it's got a, quite a lot of weaponry on it, too. Uh, 
Seeing several launchers, a whole bunch of launchers. Not actually seeing any turrets, so this one's actually looks like it's really set up to just uh, manually shoot uh, everything up. So you got a couple Gatling guns, looks like a six pack of rocket launchers, and then these guys over here, just to be sure, they are lasers. And here are also lasers, so it looks like six lasers. So lasers take down the shield, rockets to do heavy damage, uh, Gatling guns to shoot out the drones and stuff. Nice. Okay, so yeah, the uh, the setup there looks pretty nice. I like this uh, side stance there, how it gets a little thinner on the back here, and then you've got the uh, the top wings and these thruster housings. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, nice looking fighter, definitely. Looks like it's got some pretty good strafing thrust on it here too. A reverse thrust set up pretty good. Down thrust and uh, some some uh, meteor uh, forward thrust. Very cool. So let's do the light thing here. I'll try to keep some light going. Oh, nice. Uh, Oh, so yeah, right in and two business. Oh, and we got some upgrades too. Four small shield capacitors, two small shield chargers. Nice setup there. So that's uh, your banks and chargers. Oh, this is nice. The warp drive built in there. Constructor right below it. Nice looking. Uh, nice looking interior. Definitely like that. What's behind our door over here. It's like some upgrade slots. Oh yeah, let's see. Quantum CPU added by removing cargo boxes at the top. Give me a right side of the panel. Yeah. So uh, yeah, small shield chargers and capacitors. All those areas. And our uh, main uh, shield is that a heavy? Yes, it is. And our uh, CPU core, I like how everything's uh, integrated into the wall like this and it's asymmetrically done as well. Very cool. We got our CPU blocks over here. And then uh, we got a trauma station, fridge, armor locker. Yeah, so pretty much, yeah, it's got uh, just about everything you'd want, I think. Um, I didn't see a storage controller in here yet, but I'm at least uh, visible. It's probably here somewhere, though. Oh, we'll take a look at the storage here. And Wi-Fi up in the ceiling. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's an ammo storage. So we got a 14K ammo controller there. And pilot seat. So, yeah. Pretty much right, right to business. I like it. It's nice and clean. It looks good. I uh, like the uh, the interior. I like the uh, all the parts having their uh, proper housings and things like that, where everything fits good. Nice uh, idea on how the uh, the main core is popped in there with the uh, liquid door. I like the use of the uh, these small roundest blocks on the front there too to make it look like it's its, its own thing, uh, similar to what was done over here. And then yeah, that's nice. That's nice. It's just just to the point. Nice stance. Yeah, good looking fighter here. And it and it can use the sealed parts too. So or some yeah, definitely. That is nice. Let's take a look at some specs here. It uh start with we're unlock level twenty, size class one. Uh some pretty good uh thrust speeds. Uh seventy eight forward, forty eight strafing, thirty three reverse, sixty six lift, thirty nine down, a lot of uh roll. Y'all and pitch as well. Four hour and six minute build time. It is going to use some estrium and zycosium, a little bit of aluminum power and platinum in the in the mix there too. Probably for the weaponry on it. it does have some uh, some decent weapons. So six laser cannons, six rocket launchers, and two Gatling guns. That's actually a pretty nice setup. So shields, main damage, uh, two turrets and other things, uh, shooting POIs, and then uh, taking out drones. Um, and on CPU, yeah, it's uh, sitting right there at tier one, uh, 60,000 CPU. I'm not, I'm sorry, not tier one, tier four, um, or core nine uh, setup basically in Reforged Eden. It'd be tier four if it was translated to vanilla, uh, one way or another. 
Yeah, really cool. Uh, nice, uh, flies good too. Plus, it's, you know, it's got the shield. You can upgrade the shield a little bit. Got some good weaponry on it. Just nice overall look on it, definitely. And that is all I've got for today. So yeah, quite a few ships here. And uh, yeah, this uh, this 890 here is a uh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Wow, that's a that's a giant ship actually. That's a really really large ship. So we got uh, this really uh, crazy design here by Ente again. This uh, flying wing kind of sci-fi craziness. Really cool. Makes me want to try something like that someday. <laughs> um, very nice, uh, like a starter space station. This uh, this ice miner uh, that's uh, quite defendable. Um, this uh, starter uh, CV over here that uh, warp capable gets you around for an uh, uh, inexpensive price. And then we got the replica and then uh, a nice fighter. So, yeah, some really, really cool stuff today. And again, I apologize a little bit for the lighting. And I'm trying to just, every uh, video, I'm trying to get around to a different planet and check out different stuff. There's so many different looks and planets. And uh, some of them, you can't tweak the lighting too much. So, like, it's a bit, in my opinion, it's a little bit washed out. It looks cool. I mean, when you're exploring the uh, galaxy, you want a lot of uh, different looking planets from one another. But uh, sometimes it doesn't present the uh, best place to uh, show creations at either. Um, but... Uh, I'll, I'll try a little harder next time, see if I can find one that uh, looks a little bit better with uh, everything, too. But I do like the, uh, the de some of the uh, desert environments. Anyway, you all have yourself a great weekend, and I will talk to you later.